Volkswagen Golf Match 1.4 TSI manual five door. Uh, you can see it's got front parking sensors there in the bumper. Uh, I'm going to show you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and I'll run through some controls on the inside. But as you'll see from the outside, it's got alloy wheels, five doors as I mentioned. Now uh, let's start off with the boot and we can work our way around the rest of the car from there. So you can see from the back of the car, not only does it have front, but it also has rear parking sensors. Really decent sized boot with a 60-40 split folding rear seat. This vinyl cargo liner, which was an option on the car. Also uh, the life shine bags, so there's a lot of aftercare uh, materials in there for keeping your car clean. That was also an option on this car. Okay, so I'm just gonna work my way back around to the front of the car now, and then we'll hop in and run through the controls as I mentioned. And now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just before I hop in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. Uh, bearing in mind particularly that the car is five years old, the seats are as good as new, uh, not a mark on them. Same with the carpet areas. There's loads to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so starting with the dials, we've got the rev counter on the left, speedometer on the right, and then in the middle we've got the trip computer, which also shows the total miles on the car, which are 10,021. Uh, you can change the information that's displayed up there, so you can look at your audio options, your phone, uh, you can check when the car's next to your service, uh, you can change all the various settings and then right back round to the beginning again, which is the fuel economy menu. All of that is done using the arrows and buttons on the steering wheel on the right hand side here. Also to the right, we've got automatic headlights and front and rear electric windows as well as deadlocks. So you can lock the car doors from the outside. And on the left hand side of the steering wheel, we've got stereo controls and the ability to answer a phone call when someone's ringing you. And behind that, we've got cruise control. The phone itself is set up in the middle here. Um, before we get onto that, you've got the radio. So you've got FM and AM radio, as well as DAB digital radio. Uh, if I was to hit the media button, we can also then access the CD player. We can save music to an SD memory card and pop it in that slot there. Uh, and I said I'd come back to Bluetooth. Not only can you make and receive phone calls, but you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth as well. And this car's also got a media input. So you can plug in a USB device or an iPhone uh, 4 or old style of iPod as well. So there's a lot of ways of listening to music. Also, uh, as you may have seen on the screen when I initially come over to it, not only do you have front and rear parking sensors uh, that will beep, but you also got the visual uh, guidelines as well there. Uh, below that, we've got the air conditioning on the car. So temperature over here, fan speed, air conditioning on or off, and then the direction of the air just there. We have the little area here for the cigarette lighter charging point. This button will turn off or on the front parking sensors. You can turn off the traction control. We have the six speed manual gearbox. Cup holders down here, along with this removable bottle opener. And then we've got the auxiliary socket to connect up devices to listen to music. And in there we've got the multimedia device and the two cables that I mentioned a moment ago. And here we have some paperwork for the car. So uh, from the left here, we've got the Life Shine brochure. So this car had the paint and interior treatment applied to it from new. Uh, full book pack with every book it should have, uh, even the original price list, uh, lots of invoices just there. Uh, the current MOT certificate, which expires 29th of March 2018, and you can see the mileages uh, through the years uh, just there, just to confirm the mileage is definitely correct and genuine. Uh, we've done an HPI check on the car as well, uh, which shows that it's got no finance on it. Uh, it's never been stolen uh, or written off or anything like that. The V5 registration document, and register number at the top there, and just to show it's definitely a one owner car from new. Uh, it comes with two keys as well. And then the service book. So it's got full main dealer history. You'll see 2013 on 2000 miles, 2014, 3800 miles, etc. So 15 as well, 16. And then it even had a service uh, March this year, same day as the MOT. So it doesn't need a service again until next March, same time as the next MOT. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a drive, feel free to give me a call. I look forward to hearing from you soon.